Hi everybody. I'm actually going to stand to film this one um, because you can see the big giant Bradford stone behind me and Ira B who we're visiting today is that first one right there. Um, so I'll keep that one in the background there for me. <clears throat> so Ira B Bradford. Um, where do I even start with that man? Uh, he popped up initially in my searches when I would be looking up genealogy for other people uh, because he was everywhere. <laughs> he was Augusta's first mayor um, and he served that office intermittently, um, uh, I think until he passed away. Um, he, oh sorry, he also uh, opened our first bank which is now Unity uh, over the years. <laughs> Uh, he originally started out, he was born in New York, and he worked in his uncle's law office. He eventually passed the bar in New York, and then he came first to Wisconsin, where I believe he was in Milwaukee and Madison, um, and like southern Wisconsin area for some time. He also served um, on one of the first um, Wisconsin assemblies. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then somehow he ended up here in Augusta where he did all that of that stuff. Uh, I consider him one of our early settlers, uh, even though he definitely wasn't one of the first settlers. Augusta was a town by the time he got here, uh, but he really helped build it up. Um, he was just very involved. Um, as some people like to be. He was later joined by his br uh, two brothers, his father and his mother, uh, and a couple of other family members, I believe, came over time as well. So uh, yeah, they all, he liked it here so much, he encouraged his family to pick up and come too. So kind of a, a nice story. Uh, I can't, there's just so many things I can say about Ira B. Bradford. Uh, if you are ever going through the old newspaper archives, um, his, I'm not lying when I say his name is everywhere. Uh, <laughs> there was a rumor at one point that he was going to run for uh, governor, to which he said, dear God, no, I am not running for governor. And I think I saw at least once that someone wanted him to run for president. And he, again, he said, Dear God, no. <laughs> this is like a statement was published in the paper that said, I am not doing this. Please stop telling people I am. <laughs> so um, yeah, people definitely liked him and depended on him. So kind of a neat guy, IRB. Uh, you can find out more about him. Uh, I believe we visited him on my very first cemetery walk, which was early pioneers. And you can find copies of that at the library and they are now posted online. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Um, I do have one correction from my video last time. Anna Bartig is one section up from where I pointed, where I was pointing originally and then I moved and then I walked over and I was like, no, that's not right. <laughs> so um, yeah, it is always fun to do a small walkabout in the cemetery. Uh, it is getting kind of late ugh, and there's gnats everywhere. So I'm going to call it good for today. Uh, so I will be wearing a different shirt for step number or for stop number four. Uh, and I think we're going to visit some people on the far side of the cemetery. Finding IRB is really easy. Um, again, we are just down the main drag here. Um, kind of toward the last half end. Um, while you're over here, I heartily encourage you to check out some of the really amazing um, cleaning that I have done out here. I'm not saying that to do toot my own horn, so to speak, um, but just because, for instance, because it is really close, um, this is Ira B's sister-in-law, um, Cynthia Bradford. Look at how beautiful this stone is. Um, oops, sorry. Um, that was pretty much black, <laughs> very light ash gray when I cleaned it. Um, and it is just, it is beautiful. Um, so yeah, walk around, take a peek, see if you can tell which ones I've cleaned or not. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.